Happy Tuesday. Thanks so much for joining me here tonight. We are continuing on the little herb embroideries. I have my cute little apron here and we are stitching some little herbs on there. This is my little basil. We will be finishing him up tonight and starting on the thyme embroidery. Uh, the aprons did come in today, so they are back in stock, so you can check that out. Uh, the links for those should be below. So thanks so much for joining me here. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make cute embroidery kits for beginning crafters. And I'm here every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Central Time and it's a time that we can relax and craft together. Uh, so thanks so much for joining me here. Let's get going. All right, I have my cute little apron here. Um, okay, so we have started some embroideries on here. I'm gonna zoom you guys way down now. Oh, but before, before I do that, uh, I do have more of these guys in stock. They came in the mail today. So we do have the green again in stock. And then we have the wheat color, which is a really pretty, uh, like light tan color. And then we have our, um, pretty red color as well. So we have those three in the shop right now. Uh, they have like really great texture and stuff. And here's the little basil that we're stitching on this guy. All right, let's get down here and get doing it. Oh, no updates on that yet, Gretchen. I will definitely let you know uh, when I get those in. All right, got my little embroidery hoop here. Let's get this guy back in. So I took him out just so I wouldn't kind of crease the fabric more than I needed to. I mean, that'll come out in the wash or with, with an iron and stuff too. Um, but there we go. So uh, uh, we got our little basil started. So this is from our new uh, embroidery iron-on patterns. So this is the Garden Herbs Iron-on Embroidery Transfers and it has seven little baby herbs in there. We have mint, they're all in reverse because um, because you iron them on, you flip them, so the mirror image goes on your, your piece. And we got sage, which is kind of cute. I like how small they are. Parsley, thyme. This one we used already, we put on here. So you can use these iron-ons more than once. You can use them around five times. Uh, if you use them, you know, the more you use them, the like longer you have to hold the iron on. Uh, but yeah, you can use them several times. And we got dill and rosemary. Ugh, these two are cute together. I'm, I'm gonna have to put those on, on this too, but we're gonna finish this basil first and then, then we'll move on. I actually want the basil in front of me. I think that was helpful having the little pattern in front of me while I stitched this. There we go. Basil. And it's just line art, so you can do whatever you want with it. You can. Um, I'm filling them in with satin stitches and kind of leaving that little uh, space for the vein of the of the leaf. Like you can see the little vein there. If there's something you don't want on there, like if you didn't want to put the actual word basil, you could just cut that off or cover it up and that should be good. All right, so all we really have left is we have this little cluster of... Um, basil leaves up there and then then the word basil i think i'm just going to keep doing everything in this dark green and the only accent color i'm using right now is um this this lighter green that's almost the same color as the background so i'm kind of treating this as like a one color thing when really it's two colors so i think i think we'll stick with that dark green for the basil and i think i'll do that dark green uh, for the time we put we put the time on here already. I think I'll um, use the dark green there as well. All right, let's see. So I have all my I have a bunch of pieces here, and we've been doing that um, loop method where I separate just one strand and fold it in half. I'm going to continue that. That's been working nice. Just keeping my back nice and clean two. There we go. Got to get that separated. All right. And we're down to just like one of these strands left. Maybe we won't need any more, but we might. All 
Oh, Lenore's coming in from Kenosha again. Nice to see you. All right, and I got my little needle minder feller here. Oh, man. Just did my nails and they chip immediately after. That's fun. Okay, let's get at um, these shapes here. I think we'll start with the little baby ones, maybe. And I'm, I'm doing the, uh, like, loop method from the front. I think that's working just fine for me here. I'm, so I'm getting the loop in here. Uh, it's working because I'm doing satin stitch, so... Uh, so I'm going to be stitching over all this. And you know what? I think I'm going to go a little sideways here so I can avoid the bulk of the fabric. All right. Let's get this stitched. So I just kind of like starting at the middle of the leaf just so I can get the, the two points in there. And this is just one of those little baby leaves, so that one doesn't take much. Actually, I think that's probably about enough on that side. Can you guys hear the rain here? It's It rained all day today. Oh, Deborah got her package today. Yay! That's exciting. sent a pile more packages out today, so uh, you, should, you guys should all receive those soon. All right, and get this leaf over here. So again, I'm just kind of going in, just like going in the direction of the leaf, like from from where it connects to the plant to the tip, uh, as far as the direction of my satin stitch. And I think that alone has m made these leaves work, like just the different direction of, of the stitching has kind of separated these leaves. So I'm kind of trusting on that again today. All right, there's the two itty bitty top ones. Let's do, there's one hiding down here that's kind of long. Let's do that one. I think this one's kind of underneath the big one yet. Uh, Gretchen's got a new baby in the family. That's exciting. Congrats. That's exciting. Oh, Lenore says, send some rain this way. Ground as hard as a rock. I think it's supposed to rain all night here. Well, if uh, it might be coming to you next. Usually uh, Wisconsin gets uh, whatever we get the next day. So look out tomorrow. There might be some rain headed your way. All right, so this one has a little stem. I might just get that in right away since I'm here. I think we'll just do, well, maybe we'll keep up with the, the split stitch. I'll just do two just so, or I'll, I'll just do a full, like instead of just going one, one long stitch, I'll do like, I'll add like a little split stitch in there just to, so it looks like the other ones. There we go. So that's our other our other stem. All right, and then we have another kind of big bloopy leaf up here. 
this one this one uh, changes shape a little. I think, let's see, what did I do for these ones? I guess I went right to the point here. Fine, I'm going to go to the point. This one's just going to bulge out quite a bit on the top. I'm trying to decide what direction to make the, uh, the sand stitches in. One little stitch here to make the point a little nicer. Definitely going to need more green real soon here. So I probably won't have enough green to finish all the text and everything. So after this one is the one with the, the veins going down the middle, so I'll come back with that light green too. All right, I think that's probably good right there. Okay, I'm gonna get this one now and I think I'm going to try and leave that gap for the little uh, vein there, so I'll actually make a stitch kind of where that would be. And this goes to the point. super drizzly outside. Hey, it could be snow. It actually was snow the other day. Uh, over the weekend, we got a little teeny blast of snow. Ooh, but I think this weekend it's supposed to get up to almost 80 degrees. So that's the difference in a week. It can go from like 30 degrees to 80 degrees <laughs> this time of year. That's crazy. That's like 50 degree difference. All right, I'm gonna try and finish this satin stitch and um, then we'll start fresh with a new, a new leaf. Finish this leaf and then I'll start with a fresh thread for the last leaf. All right, I think that'll do it right there. Looking good. It's looking like a pile of uh, leaves and I love that. Um, with the satin stitch, it looks really similar on the back, so this actually still looks like the basil on the back, I think. So that's kind of fun. Can't wait till I got a few of these guys on this, this uh, apron. I think this is going to be just a really pretty apron to use. Use in, like, normal life. <laughs> All right. I have one more of the long pieces of um, green, and then I have a few short pieces, so maybe I won't have to get any more yet. I can still use scrap. Okay, let's get those two threads.
Okay, I'm going to do that little, little loop method catching on the top here again. Maybe I'm just lazy doing that, but it seems to be working fine. Okay, where should we start here? Well, I think I'll start right here and I'll just aim downward. I think like so. This one has a little curved um, edge. to the vein, so I'm just going to kind of follow that a little bit on this side. Let's get the top side first. This one's a little goofy. I hope everyone had a lovely day today. I'm definitely easing into the relaxation of um, getting to stitch a little bit tonight. So I'm excited about that. Oh, thank you, Jan. Jan is coming in from East Texas. Yeah, we're just about done with these little basil leaves. And it, and it was fun. I, like, I didn't know how these were going to turn out with this, uh, with uh, the one color all satin stitch. But I think it's turning out super kind of fun. I'm, I'm liking it. All right, again, I'm leaving that gap a little bit for the vein of the leaf there. Then it'll kind of connect again down here, I think, basically. Any weirdness here will be covered up by the, the vein, I think, so I'm not too worried about it. But eventually it meets up at the, at the point, so that's what I'm kind of watching for here. There, I think the next stitch I'll go the whole length. There we are. And I'm going to do a little bit more for the point. One last stitch. There. I think that'll do. And then, uh, then I'm going to come back and um, add in those veins to just those two. Just so they're kind of like this side where we added a couple little veins. So we'll do that. And then I'll get a new fresh piece of thread and we'll, we'll write out basil here. I wonder if we should do that in the split stitch too. We could just kind of keep with that. I don't know. I do. I do like my uh, back stitch for for text, but we could we could just for the sake of doing different stuff. Since I don't usually fill in stuff with satin stitch all the time, like I am here, we could do the same thing for the bottom. Just do. Just do. Um, do something different, which would be the stem stitch. Yeah, I think we'll do that. And I, and I will get another big, fresh piece of thread to do that because I'm going to keep using it. I'm like, oh, I got to use up all this stuff. But I, we have all these other plants to do yet. So um, we'll use it up there for sure. All right, here's a little piece of, I guess it's not that little, um, of the lighter green. Let's get those veins in here and then we'll stitch that text. And then we will get on to that time one, which I think I'm also going to satin stitch. So those will be like itty bitty bitty tiny baby leaves that I'll satin stitch. 
All right, let's get on the other side for this. So I'm gonna do that loop method still, but I'm just gonna grab some of the stitches that already exist here. Go through the loop. There we are. It's looking super duper clean back here, that's nice. Okay, so this guy right here gets a little stitch. That's about all that needs. There we go. Adding that. And um, this one, I think we'll do a little uh, stem stitch here because it does have a little curve in. So right where the curve starts, we'll kind of grab it there. And then I suppose it doesn't need any more. We'll go with just the one. So we just got a little bend in there. All right, and I think that does the job there. So that's it. That's all I need of that color. <laughs> a little bit. That's it. All right, so I'm going to grab more of that dark green, which is actually the fresh basil color. That's that's uh, the name of that color is fresh basil. So <laughs> that, that fits. It's funny, I'm just realizing that now. That that's the fresh basil color. That's the name of the color. All right, so I, I think I am going to try doing this in the stem stitch, because then it's sim similar to how we, not the stem stitch, I'm gonna do it um, the split stitch, which is the same stitch I used on the stems. That's what I'm trying to say. Just, um, well, I don't know. I could do that. I could even do, I could even just stitch this with one strand, really, to, that might not be enough. Let's just do it so you can read it. I'm gonna do two strands. That'll make the line a little bit thicker. And the split stitch will actually make it a little thicker as well. So let's, let's just do it. Let's go with the current plan. I probably don't need a ton. I'm gonna do about this much. This will be a good length uh, strand for when we do the time coming up. Get started on that at least tonight. Oh, thanks, Jan. Jan says the green on green is stunning. Yeah, I'm really, really loving how this is turning out for sure. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to see it really well, and I wasn't sure if it was just going to look like a big green blob, but I think it's looking really pretty. Uh, and I think I'm just going to stick with uh, stick with this green throughout, I think. Then it'll be, like, then far away, it'll be kind of subtle. And... Uh, yeah, I don't know. It looks fancy, I feel like. <laughs> the satin stitch and just all one color. It's, well, sort of one color. I got that extra color there, but again, it looks like the background color. I'm feeling fancy right now. And it's actually not taking that long, just because it is, um, it is, uh, they are so small, the designs. Oh, black would be really, really pretty on here, Teresa. All right, I'm going to start with just my, my loop on the back. There we go. That'll kind of lock that in, I'm hoping. And we'll do some little bitty baby split stitches up here. I think I'm still going to go sideways. So this particular letter B has a bigger top than the bottom. Let's see if I can get that effect in here. Not used to doing a split stitch for for lettering here. It's been a while. I kind of want to maybe switch to back stitch 
just because I can get more accurate with my stitching. I think I might do that. I'm going to back it up here. Again, normally I'd be like, eh, but we're going to be doing a whole pile of other um, other designs on here too so that I want to keep consistent, so might as well get it right now. Gosh, it's I might not even be able to pull these out. I might have to start with fresh thread. Oh, there we go. Getting picky here again. Maybe I'll leave that the first part of the B. Come on, guy. Well, that one just doesn't want to come out, so I'm going to just start the back stitch from here. That'll be fine. I just think I'll get a... Oh, oh yeah, a single strand in a darker color. That, that'd definitely be nice. I think I'm just trying to stick with this one color look. Um, oh, black would look, yeah, really good for the text, too, actually. Um, I think we'll get it here in a sec. There. Just knowing I'm doing backstitch now is already making me feel more comfortable. I get, I just like the accuracy you can get with backstitch. The split stitch is fine, but around curves, you don't get quite as much accuracy. And if you're working with such a small thing like, like this itty bitty baby type, then um, you're going to want a little bit more of that accuracy. Oops, sorry you guys, I stabbed the camera there. This again is just a little subtle extra bit having this text. All right, I'm gonna get the cross of this A. So this S has like a small little base again, kind of like the B. It's little on the bottom and big on top. I do like the idea of a single strand in, in like a darker color. That, that'd be pretty too. We'll see how this turns out and can always take it out, but I think I think it's looking all right. I feel like if I add another color, I'm gonna be tempted to put it in the leaves and stuff somewhere, and I like how that's looking right now, so I don't really want to change that. Okay, there's the S. The I. We will. top first and it has itty bitty crosses on the top and bottom. It was fun kind of making this kind of new font for for these. It's a little bit different than my normal writing so it's was, it was fun to play around with. And the L's got a little baby L bottom. All right, we got it here. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not the darkest thing on on this uh, green color here. Actually, I think black would have actually looked really nice there. But 
I think we're fine. Basil, good enough. <laughs> Let's weave in these ends. And uh, this guy is done. And we'll start up on the time, which we already have on here. I use this, uh, we actually used this on the electric stuff a little bit the other night, and it looks like I stained, stained it with some of the black. Uh, oh, yeah, we, I had to cut electrical tape, and, um, we couldn't find a scissors, so I used my little, little baby scissors here. Okay, let's see what that looks like. There, I think it's looking cute. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's just keep going here. I think uh, I'm almost tempted to do the text first because I didn't iron that on very well. Um, and then let's let's think about this. So I could do the stems, and I think we'll do it like how we did here. Like the stems could be the. Um, uh, split stitch again and then we could come back and then do I want to do like little itty bitty baby satin stitches so just like maybe two or three satin stitches to make each one of these leaves I think that'll be fun so I, I think I'm gonna do the text first just cuz I got on my brain to do that first now so this one won't really have any other of that that secondary color it's just gonna be this green this is pretty it'll be just like we did a, a one color pattern across this whole thing All right, we'll start with that loop method again. Come here, needle. Oh, I need uh, need to get my hoop on there too, I suppose. Forgot I took that off. Took it off to move it to the next thing. I think I am gonna kind of go sideways again here just cause I have the whole bulk of the entire apron here and I only have like this little bit here. So it's easier to go a little bit from the side. I think uh, just south of us, well, not just south, but like an hour or so south, they were getting hail and everything this afternoon. So I'm glad we were not getting that. Really glad, because we just, uh, we're supposed to get new siding and everything for the hail damage that we got last year and uh, it's uh we um didn't even get that they're not even done doing that yet I'm just catching that loop oh. <laughs> sorry I should have maybe gone a little bit further down with that T. I think I was. I'm gonna make him a little taller. I think we'll we'll stitch these guys first. Maybe I don't need to make him taller. Crossbar here. That guy got a little crooked. So I'm doing these just in big long stitches. I think that's fine. Oh, Amy's asking how the, how, should I ask how the book reading and exercise is going? I've done it every day, so I've been officially consistent for 
seven days now. <laughs> so that's that's not bad. <laughs> and on the weekends I did it too. So what Amy's talking about is I'm I'm trying to get my morning ro- routine back on track again. And that whole thing was um, that I uh, was going to get up earlier in the morning. So that's hurdle number one. <laughs> and uh, I was going to make coffee, then read my book, and then when my coffee gets done, just keep reading the book, but then I got to do it on the bike. So then I'm getting some biking in, uh, and then get ready for the rest of the day. So versus sleeping in extra and, um, you know, just using my time to sleep in an extra little bit. Uh, so I, I've been sticking to it for, for uh, the past few days, for a week. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm getting way off on here. It's going though. I've been good. It's been, it's, I've been tired though. It's been, uh, oh yeah, we talked about that last time we talked about it. Um, so I, I, um, still trying to get to bed early to get up, but man, I'm still pretty tired, but I am just excited about, about, uh, about doing it and like getting the chance to read my book and have coffee and sit in the chair with my coffee and book has been, uh, keeping me doing it. So that's good at least. All right. I'm going to just jump up here and, uh, start stitching with what I have left here. I'm going to go up like this main drag first. Then I'll come back and get all the side stems. It's relaxing stitching on these little aprons. <laughs> nice, Jen. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling it throughout the day that, like, I rode bike and stuff, so that feels good, too. It's like, ooh, my muscles did stuff. So this is just random, but the other thing with that is then I'm showering, like, a really quick just shower in the morning. And then that's, like, one less thing I have to worry about. Because typically, like, I like showering at, at night, but um, then I'm slower and tired and I take, like, super long showers. But in the morning, I it's part of just the agenda of getting, getting ready. So uh, it, it goes a lot faster because I have to shower after riding the bike. Um, so that's been nice, too. <laughs> all those little silly things that all fit together. All right, I'm going to stitch. I have just a couple, enough for like a couple more stitches. Um, so I'm going to just work some of these satin stitches on the way down. I think these are all just going to get like three little stitches, a long one and then like one on each side. And that's what's all these leaves are going to be. Yeah, Becky, I hear ya. That's, that's our deal.
we got a stationary bike during COVID, which is like what everyone did, but, uh, we did it too. And, um, just cause you know, I, I was swimming. Like we had just gotten in the habit of going to the Y early in the morning and, and going swimming. And I don't know when I'm going to go back to the Y again, which is a bummer. So kind of got the bike going now for that. It's not the same, but it's sort of the same. So these are little baby leaves. So these ones are only going to get like two little stitches. I think there are plenty. Oop, come back. Um, okay, so Jan, this, I did a split stitch for the stem. Right now I'm doing a satin stitch, but it's really just, there's, there's so little, like the amount of space that I have to stitch in. So it's basically just two stitches or three stitches next to each other. Um, I'm not doing this. It's, it's in theory a, a satin stitch, but there's not much to it. Just two, two stitches next to each other. Itty bitty time leaves. So in theory, how I would have normally done this, I think, is just do these all as lazy daisy stitches. Um, or like single crochet, <laughs> crochet, single chain stitches. But I really like how this satin stitch turned out on the basil, and I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to keep keep on that theme of let's just fill all these shapes in. All right, I think this is my last stitch, though. I'm going to, um, so there we are so far. I'm going to weave in the end here. Oh, yeah, Jan, feel free to ask uh, whatever, whatever questions you have. I know I've just kind of... This is uh, the last week of the month, and that's kind of our free week to putz around. So I'm kind of just, just doing that. So if I if I'm not explaining myself as much um, as I sometimes do or whatever, uh, just totally ask questions. That's that's perfect. Okay. Okay, I think it's looking pretty cute. So let's keep going here. It's going to be fun with all these on here. All right, I need a new piece of thread. So I'm going to get that from this long piece that we got started here. needle here. I wonder if I should finish up the other stems first. I think I might. That'll give me a good baseline of where to stitch. So I'm going to just kind of do the loop method. Oh, look how cute it is on the back with these little baby stitches. That's from the stem stitches. Or not the stem stitches. I keep saying stem stitch, but I if I'm saying stem st stitch, I'm meaning the split stitch. Although stem stitch would have worked well for this too. If I did stem stitch, they would all my stitches would like look a little fatter though, like wider. Gosh, actually, maybe I should just, like I was thinking, oh, I should just do all the stem stitches for, or the split stitches first. But now that I'm at the top here, I'm like, well, I should get the leaves coming back down. So I guess we're just going to start at the bottom here and do the split stitch and get our leaves on the way back. That works.
why not? Oh, <laughs> thanks, Lenore. Lenore says, your nails always look so good. I think you should do a video on how to do the manicure. I uh, just do it almost every... <laughs> I, I don't do it every night here, but I do have to touch it up almost every night. Uh, I think the trick that I like the most, though, is I have this oil that I like that I put on when I'm done, and then then my nails don't look so dry. <laughs> so that's that's my kind of new newest element of my manicure. Nope, usually it's about seven o'clock and it's like, oh man, I have to do my nails quick, get those done, and then I scramble to take off my nail polish that's usually pretty chipped and get some new new polish on there and that quick dry if I didn't have that quick dry I don't know what I'd do I kind of depend on that <laughs> oh uh, uh, Sylvia saying so at the gym with a coach I, I did a station did the stationary bike and it was rough, and I don't think I have the discipline to keep myself at that pace. So I am super duper in the leisurely mode of riding the bike. Like, I don't, you know, I'm not, like, on the Peloton with the, or Peloton, you know, with people yelling at me to go faster or anything like that. It is legit just the transition of, crap, I ran out of coffee but I still want to read my book. Ugh, okay, I'm going to read the book on the bike. So I I just kind of slowly ride the bike and read my book. I do have the the um, pressure of the wheels or whatever. You know, how you can make it like really loose or tight so it's harder to press down. I do have it pretty high up so that, you know, when I'm going kind of slow just reading my book, it is like pushing a bit of weight. So I, I kind of equate it to like doing like squats a little bit or lunges. Like I'm not just like speeding along on the bike and like, you know, going like, okay, now I'm going to go my max. And then, okay, now let's, let's just chill for 10 seconds here. And now 30 seconds of your next, you know, max or whatever. I'm totally a hundred percent not doing that. At this point, I'm figuring if I'm just getting on it, every day, then that's a super big win, and I get to read my book at the same time, which is awesome, um, and I don't know, I kind of like weights and like interval training-y stuff better than the bike, so if once I, once I graduate my brain to like, okay, you know what, I'm, I'm on this path of the, of getting up and doing this, I'm ready to, like, amp it up, like, let's do a real workout, then, then I have, like, some other, like, I don't know, weight programs that I like, but right now I'm literally just trying to form a habit <laughs> again, <laughs> uh, that is the plan, and I can just leave in an instant, and that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to avoid. those those habits they're little jerk butts so these these lines I'm doing oop the split stitch caught on my hoop there I just need a sort of outline stitch, and I typically do a back stitch, but I wanted to try something different. And a split stitch, I, th I feel like, looks more organic. Like, I think the, the, the lines look like they're blended together a little bit more. With, with a back stitch, you get, like, a perfect little bead for each stitch, I think. Um, this blends it a little bit more, in my brain at least. So trying to do this like whole organic-y looking 
uh, like leaves and and stuff, and I think uh, just the split stitch seemed to fit for me. I made it to the top of this stem. Let's work our way back down in some satin stitches. I think I'm gonna go until I run out of this thread today, and then we'll call it a day. So I got I got about 20 more stitches in me here, I think. So then tomorrow, I'd love to do get one more of these done. So tomorrow's a Wednesday. So maybe Wednesday and Thursday we'll work on this yet. And then um, I'd like to get one day of that Aurifil block of the month sewing in. That'd be nice. Oh yeah, our the stationary bike that we have it does actually hold like some two and a half pound weights, which I know is nothing. Um, so when I when I'm reading the book and feeling like okay, I can do a little bit more, then I just take those two and a half pound weights. Like I'll switch switch. Um, like if I'm if I'm holding the book with this hand, then I'll do the weights with this hand. If I'm holding the book with this hand, so like each each. Uh, page I'll like switch arms and then then I'll just do like arm curls or overhead press or something I'll do something for the length it takes me to read that page <laughs> so it is only two and a half pounds but if you're doing like 40 of them whatever it is because you're reading you know a whole page then that kind of adds up <laughs> so it gets tiring so I, I didn't do that the entire time of biking but here and there I've been trying to add that to the idea. Still not ready to do the full workout yet. But the getting up and reading my book has been awesome so far. But that's, it's, it's, a, it's a fragile habit though. I mean, it's one that I love. Like I love getting up in the morning and having the coffee and, and whatever, but it's, it's a fragile habit because it's so much easier and desirable for me to just stay in bed. <laughs> and so if I, if any part of the system goes out of whack, like if I go to bed late a night or just a, a hair late even, or then, um, or even go on vacation or something, or, you know, go out of town, then it all dies, which I hate. But for right now, I'm doing it. Uh, how many more can we get here? There's only, well, there's a couple more to this little branch, I think, actually. I think, uh, maybe I can get the last one here. There's one here, but then they have... I have the little little baby joiner ones here. Like time, like where all the, where the um, stems meet, there's always like a little, little, um, little leaf there, but I don't think I have enough with this, this thread. So I think we'll have to pick that up tomorrow. So I'm gonna weave in this end and uh, we'll finish this up pretty easily tomorrow, I think, and um, maybe we'll iron another one on and give it a go. We'll try and do three of these this week. All right. So I'm going to take it out again just to see what it looks like as an apron so far. All right, it's coming together. I do think like just scatter down like one side would be kind of pretty. So, you know, I could put one up here and then maybe a few down here. I don't know when I'll finish all that. So right now it might just be the three, but <laughs> that's fine too. All right. 
Okay, so let's uh, just take a look at this from far away again, just to kind of see what it's looking like. All right, it's cute. Have the uh, couple little uh, guys on there. And then, you know, it's an apron, so I'd have, I don't have it around my neck, but I would just want to see it with a little bow there. Oh, see, cute. Yeah, and then we could have just like a few more. Maybe I will just keep it on the on the top here. It's kind of fun um, above the above the where the, like you tie the apron. So okay, I might change my plan. Maybe I will just stay in this top area. I kind of like that. Cute. All right, so uh, we'll continue this tomorrow. Uh, and maybe a little bit of Thursday, we'll see. I do want to do that Aurifil block of the month a little bit yet. Uh, we do have more of these green aprons uh, in stock now. My uh, order came in uh, today, so we have that wheat colored one, that nice tan. We have more of the red, and then we have the same green color. Uh, so if you're itching for this green, we do have a few more in stock now. So you can check that out uh, at the link below. And the garden herb uh, iron-ons are there as well. And yeah, this is fun. This is a fun little experiment stitching on these aprons. So I'm having fun. Awesome, you guys. Thank you for another lovely evening. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.